Good morning, yogis. Thank you so much for joining me for our practice today. If you are going to use props, then grab them, have them handy. You do not have to use props, but know that I will be cueing them. Also, you can play your own playlist. If you would like to join me, then go to my Spotify account and you will find it is 30 minute yen and then with the letter D in parentheses. So go ahead and begin that now, start that now. Move your phone to the side and come to a seated position. Sitting up tall on blankets, bolsters, or blocks. Maybe rocking side by side, forward and back to help find the sitting bones, connecting them with the earth. Level pelvis, long spine. Shoulders released, crown of the head reaching toward the sky. Deep breath in, cleansing sigh. Allowing the breath to invite us into this present moment. allowing everything else to fade away. Our to-do list, our worries, our fears. And maybe without our focus, our attention, our energy holding them up, they will fall, fade, giving us space to be, to breathe. Remembering that there is not a breath associated with yin. So use whatever serves you. A natural breath, a slow breath. Allowing this to be our anchor. If this does not work as your anchor, Discover something else, maybe a sensation in the body, a mantra. Take a moment, decide what your anchor will be for your practice today. And now contemplate your intention for your practice today. Inhaling our arms down, around and up, palms touch. Exhaling hands to our heart center, thumbs to sternum. Allowing my words to become your words as we open our practice. I am a vessel for divine light, seeking the best and ultimate healing. Bring your prayer hands to your mind's eye. Thank you for this healing light. Guide me well. Prayer hands back to heart. Palms down onto your knees or your thighs. And when you're ready, Slowly open your eyes. You can stay on your blankets or you can scooch off whatever feels best in your lower back as we bring the soles of our feet together. You can have your feet closer to your body or further apart and we'll round into our butterfly pose. Now, when you round, just see and ask yourself, would I be able to stay here for three to five plus minutes? So if it serves you, maybe you want to use a bolster to rest on or blocks or blankets or all of the above. You can also take a blanket, roll it up, bring it on your feet, underneath your ankles. 
into our butterfly pose. If you do see me look at my watch or getting out of the pose, that doesn't mean I'd want you to. It simply means that I am timing the asana, the pose, or I'm coming out to read something. So we take the first minute in our yin yoga poses to get into the pose, making adjustments for our body, knowing that everybody's body is different and every day our body is different. Resisting that urge to judge. Embracing where we're at in this moment on this day. So make adjustments, use the support that suits you. Discovering the first edge, the first stage of the asana, of the pose. Knowing that as we stay in these poses, it may naturally evolve, may, meaning we may be able to naturally go a little deeper. Maybe your head surrenders a little bit more. Maybe your arms surrender a little bit more. Maybe those hips open up a little bit. Again, allowing this to occur without force. And only you know the difference between going deeper and overexertion. So listen to your body, befriend your body. Get to know what's going on in your body and allow yourself to listen openly, compassionately. And after about the first minute of the pose, surrender into stillness. Meaning resist the urge to fidget. If the pose evolves, evolve with it. Moving just enough to deepen. Allowing ourselves to get comfortable with the uncomfortable sitting with the discomfort. Allowing ourselves to receive the messages, the information that arises from our body when we can surrender into stillness. Two more minutes. Where can you surrender? Where can you accept? Where can you allow? Allowing thoughts, images, feelings, sensations, emotions to be. No need to manipulate, no need to change, no need to run from, no need to push away. Simply allow. And in this allowance, in this acceptance, see what naturally moves through you. Bye.
four, three, two, one. Slowly rise up as if you're picking up a strand of pearls, one vertebra at a time, allowing your head to come up last. Pause, rebound with a neutral spine. Moving support out of the way, bringing your hands to the outside of your knees or thighs, soles of the feet onto the mat, extending your legs long out front, and then bring your feet away from one another. Again, finding that point where you're feeling a little bit of discomfort, not going over the edge of pain. Remember, this is our yin practice, not our yang practice. If this was yang, our active pose, we would fire up our legs. We would flex through our feet. But this is yin. This is this passive stretch, passively active stretch, if that makes sense. Again, rock side by side, forward and back, rooting through the sits bones, sitting bones, grounding those sits bones into the earth. Again, if this was our yang practice, we would extend through the spine, but in yin, we do more rounding. So round into the pose, maybe bringing your forearms down. Again, using support accordingly. making final adjustments, surrendering into stillness. Meeting the world. You must meet the outer world with your inner world or existence will crush you. There is a wind that keeps blowing since the beginning of time and in every language ever spoken, it continues to whisper, you must meet the outer world with your inner world or existence will crush you. If inner does not meet outer, our lives will collapse and vanish. Though we often think that hiding our inwardness will somehow protect or save us, it is quite the opposite. The heart is very much like a miraculous balloon. Its lightness comes from staying full. Meeting the days with our heart prevents collapse. One more minute. This is why 90 year old widows remain committed to tending small flowers in spring. Why 10 year olds with very little to eat care for stray kittens holding them to their skinny chest. Why painters going blind paint more. Why composers going deaf write great symphonies. This is why when we think we can't possibly try again, we let out a sigh that goes back through the centuries. And then despite all of our experience, we inhale and try again. Five, four, three, two, one. And rising up, picking up at that strand of pearls, sitting tall, reaching their arms up overhead, palms touch, flipping our palms away from one another, releasing the hands down, bringing our hands to the outside of the knees or thighs, soles of the feet come onto the mat, kicking our feet over toward the right. So you can stack your legs and you can stack your shins. You can also bring the sole of that left foot more onto your right thigh. Your right toes can be pointed to the side. 
You can also point them behind you. You can also bring that foot a little closer to the body. You can stay here sitting up nice and tall if that serves you. If it feels like you're leaning toward one side, then grab that blanket, prop that side up to help level things out, or even sit on a blanket. Maybe you wish to bring both sits bones on top of the blanket, and that also helps to level things out. That also may help to relieve some any tension arising in the lower back. So again, stay here. And this is where you get to decide what feels best in your body. Is your body craving a twist? Do you want to get into the side body? So if you're craving a twist, you can come all the way down or you can also come onto a bolster, bringing your left face cheek to the mat. If you want to stretch through that side body, that so as you can lay on the mat or take a bolster, bring that over more toward your left side. Surrendering over the bolster. If you want to get into the psoas even more, you can add a heart opener by opening your chest to the ceiling. Again, taking that first minute, deciding what feels best for you. Here's the kicker. Can you go into a pose, a version, knowing that it is okay to change your mind? It is okay to think, huh, this is what I want to do. And then all of a sudden be like, oh, nope, that wasn't it. It's okay to come out of it, to adjust. Again, using that first minute as our wiggle room. How do you feel about having a little bit of wiggle room? And after you make the adjustments, settle in. Reconnect with your anchor. And from this anchor, be spontaneous drawn to sensations in the body. Maybe you're feeling a little something in the lower back, your quadriceps, the trapezius, without force, spontaneously bring your awareness there. And if you're not drawn to strong sensations in the body, and simply breathe, connecting with your anchor, anchoring into the present. If you are drawn to a sensation, maybe you can discover a message there. Maybe an emotion arises. E, motion, energy in motion. And with our loving, compassionate acceptance, allowance, maybe that emotion tells you what it is. Fear, worry, love, doubt. If you're Right face cheek is to the mat. Bring your left face cheek or the bolster in the twist. We have one more minute. And once you label that emotion, repeat the label two to three times. And maybe with this gentle, loving, compassionate attention, the emotion the energy in motion is free to move, allowing it to come up, allowing it to come out, setting it free.
five, four, three, two, one. Whichever version you chose, if you are folded, come back up, return to center. If you did use support one side, move it over to the other side, bring in the soles of our feet onto the mat, draping our body over our legs to rebound out of that deer pose. Sitting up tall, kicking our feet over to the left, again, stacking your legs or bringing the sole of that right foot more onto the left thigh. Your left toes can be pointed to the side behind you, or maybe you want that leg a little closer to the body. Whatever you did on the other side, whether you stayed up, whether you folded over, whether you did a side body stretch or a twist, do that on this side. Knowing that it is very natural, for one side to feel a little different than the other. Once you settle in, return back to practicing emotional labeling, discovering our anchor, being spontaneously drawn without force to sensation in the body. Locating sensation, labeling emotion, energy in motion, repeating the label two to three times, possibly setting that energy in motion. Knowing that at any point, if things get a little too tricky, a little too icky, you can always return back to your anchor. If no sensation is drawing your attention, simply acknowledge that you are in a state of peace, contentment, calm. If your left face cheek is to the bolster and you're in a twist, bring your right face cheek. One more minute. Five, four, three, two, slowly rise up. If you're folded, rotating to center, soles of the feet come onto our mat, draping our body over the legs to rebound.
bringing our hands behind our knees, bringing our knees with us as we release onto the mat, knees to chest, rocking side by side. Breath in, breath out. Again, our knees to chest, nose to knees, squeezing into a ball, giving ourselves that well-deserved hug, squeeze everything really, really tight, clenching your face, your toes, your nose, your fingers on the exhale. <sighs> Loose everything along. Maybe you wish to place a bolster or a blanket under your knees, maybe an eye pillow on your eyes. Palms up to receive down to ground, allowing the feet to fall away from one another, relaxing ankles, lower legs, knees, upper legs, hips, legs top to bottom, bottom to top, pelvis, abdominal muscles, chest, back and spine, torso top to bottom, bottom to top, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, palms of the hands, arms and hands top to bottom, bottom to top, neck, jaw, lips, mouth, Allowing the tongue to surrender from the roof of the mouth, inner ears, outer ears, cheeks, eyes, eyebrows, space between the eyebrows, mind's eye, forehead, top of the head, scalp, back of the head, inside the head, Brain stem, downstairs brain, upstairs brain, right side brain, left side brain. Sensing the brain whole, integrated. Surrendering brain, head, face, whole body. Surrendering the whole body into this moment with a deep, audible sigh. <sighs> Welcome to Shavasana. You must greet the inner world with the outer world or existence will crush you. Gently wiggling fingers and toes, arms overhead, legs straight, making circles with wrists and ankles. Soles of the feet come onto the mat, right arm stays overhead, left arm over chest, rolling onto the right, pausing in the fetal position. Pressing off with your left hand, return to a seated position, sitting tall, mudra, hand gesture of choice, eyes closed, breath in, breath out. 
Inhaling the arms up, palms touch, gathering all the energy of our practice today. Exhaling, prayer hands to heart center. Reminding our heart of the intention that we made at the beginning of practice. Sealing it in our heart, speaking its truth to our outer world with an own. Inhale. Uh... The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me for our practice today. Please remember that these classes are contribution-based. You can find the link in the description, as well as a survey. survey. I would love to hear from you and see what you are interested in and what you are looking for. Have a great day.